Today, we're diving into Apple's latest game changer, Apple Intelligence. Apple has just rolled out this new personal intelligence system designed to bring advanced language, image understanding, and productivity tools to iPhone, iPad, and Mac users. Running on the latest updates, iOS 18.1, iPadOS 18.1, and MacOS Sequoia 15.1. This feature pack system leverages Apple Silicon and is focused on privacy, enhancing user experiences across the board. Let's break down all the cool new capabilities Apple Intelligence offers. First up, Apple Intelligence brings a robust set of writing tools. Imagine having a personal editor within apps like Mail, Messages, Notes, even third-party applications. With features like Rewrite, users can pick different text versions to adjust the tone, making it easy to go from formal to casual or vice versa. Proofprint provides grammar and word choice suggestions, while Summarize condenses longer text for quicker reading. So whether you're drafting emails, crafting notes, or collaborating in pages, these tools can help you write smarter and faster. Next, we have a major update to Siri. Now integrated with Apple Intelligence, Siri features a more conversational and natural voice. Plus, it now supports type to Siri across iPhone, iPad, and Mac, making it easy to switch between voice and text seamlessly. Siri's knowledge base has also been expanded, meaning it can answer more questions, especially about Apple products and features. Whether you're multitasking or just prefer a quieter interaction, Siri's new flexibility is a game changer. Now for all you photo enthusiasts, the Photos app has received some amazing updates. With natural language search, you can search your photos just by describing what you're looking for. Say goodbye to endless scrolling. Additionally, the Memories feature lets you create short movies by typing in a description and Apple Intelligence will curate the best photos and videos to bring that vision to life. Apple also introduced a cleanup tool in the Photos app. This AI-powered feature allows you to remove unwanted objects or distractions from your pictures without compromising quality. So whether it's a photo bomber or something small in the background, Apple Intelligence helps keep your photos looking perfect. Apple Intelligence is also tackling the digital clutter. In Mail, for instance, Priority Messages identifies urgent emails, and Message Summaries provide key details so you don't need to open each message fully. With Smart Reply, quick response suggestions help you get through your emails faster. Even the notification summary offers a way to see essential details at a glance right on the lock screen, cueing distractions to a minimum. The Notes and Phone apps now have some powerful audio capabilities. You can record, transcribe, and summarize audio, ideal for capturing meeting notes or lectures. In the Phone app, when you record a call, Apple Intelligence notifies participants and generates a summary once the call ends. This new feature is set to make life much easier, especially for professionals who need to capture and review important conversations. Apple has more in store. Coming this December, additional Apple intelligence features will include new visual intelligence tools, expanded writing tools, and integration with ChatGPT, offering access to extensive world knowledge and image and document processing capabilities. So keep an eye out. These updates will only make the Apple intelligence experience even richer. To try out Apple intelligence, you'll need the latest updates, iOS 18.1, iPadOS 18.1, or MacOS Sequoia 15.1. It's available for users with devices like the iPhone 16 series, iPhone 15 Pro models, iPads with a 17 Pro or M1 chips, and M1 or later Macs. Currently, it's accessible in regions set to US English with more language support coming soon. So there you have it. Apple Intelligence is officially here, packed with tools to enhance productivity, streamline tasks, and redefine user experience, all while keeping your data private. Are you excited to try out these new features? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more tech updates. The smartphone industry is constantly evolving, with each new year bringing us flagship devices that push the boundaries of technology and design. In this video, we'll be taking a close look at the two biggest names in the smartphone world right now. Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max and Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra. Both phones are powerhouses in their own right, but how do they stack up against each other? Let's dive into the battle of the bigs. Design and size, as expected, Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max doesn't deviate much from its predecessor when it comes to design. The rectangular shape, soft corners, flat sides, and dynamic island pill-shaped cutout remain. This year, however, the screen has grown from 6.7 inches to a massive 6.9 inches, making it the largest display ever on an iPhone. Its bezels are even thinner, but the overall dimensions have changed slightly, measuring 163 millimeters by 77.6 millimeters. 
In comparison, the Galaxy S24 Ultra is slightly smaller at 162.3 millimeters in height, but a bit wider at 79 millimeters, making it easier to handle for users who love to use the S Pen for sketching or taking notes. Speaking of the S Pen, Samsung once again offers the stylus nestled into the bottom of the Galaxy S24 Ultra. It's a feature that remains unique to Samsung in the flagship market and one that many users either love or it more completely. The precision of the S Pen developed in partnership with Wacom is something to be admired, making it a fantastic tool for creative tasks. Apple, on the other hand, introduces some new tricks with its buttons. The Action Button, which debuted in the iPhone 15 Pro series returns, offering customizable functions for launching apps or activating Siri shortcuts. But the real star of the show is the new Camera Control Button. This physical key, equipped with a capacitive surface, allows users to control the camera with a swipe, much like a traditional camera shutter button, enhancing the photography experience. Both phones come in sleek color options. The iPhone 16 Pro Max offers titanium finishes in white, black, natural, and the new desert titanium. Meanwhile, Samsung gives users a broader selection with titanium violet, yellow, black, and gray, and three exclusive colors if you order directly from Samsung's website. Display differences. When it comes to display, both phones boast impressive technology. The iPhone 16 Pro Max features a 6.9-inch OLED panel with a 120Hz refresh rate and an always-on display that can drop its refresh rate to just 1Hz, keeping your wallpaper or photos visible even when the phone is asleep. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra comes equipped with its signature AMOLED screen, also featuring a 120Hz refresh rate and always-on display. However, Samsung has a slight edge here with its anti-reflective coating, which makes the screen much easier to see outdoors. In contrast, the iPhone struggles with reflections in bright sunlight despite its high brightness. Color accuracy is another area where the two phones differ slightly. The iPhone's display leans towards a yellowish hue, while the Galaxy has a bit of a teal tint. But with both phones offering blue light filters and adaptive color calibration, these differences are minimal in day-to-day -day use. One new feature for the iPhone 16 Pro Max is its ability to drop to an incredibly low one-nit brightness level, making it easier on the eyes in dark environments. Samsung's display already hovers around this level, so both phones are excellent for nighttime use, performance, and software. Under the hood, the iPhone 16 Pro Max is powered by Apple's latest 18 Pro chip, built on a second-gen 3 nanometer process by TSMC. This cutting-edge chip brings significant improvements in performance and efficiency, particularly when it comes to handling heavy tasks like gaming and AI-driven processes. Apple has also focused on better heat dissipation, addressing the overheating issues that plagued the A17 Pro chip. The Galaxy S24 Ultra, on the other hand, is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, specifically tuned for Samsung devices. While both chips are incredibly powerful, benchmarks show that Apple's A18 Pro takes the lead in CPU performance, However, in 3D graphics tests, the Galaxy S24 Ultra isn't far behind, offering stellar gaming performance. Both Apple and Samsung are pushing into the realm of AI, with dedicated NPU cores to handle AI tasks. The iPhone 16 Pro Max comes with Apple Intelligence, which will roll out new features gradually, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra already boasts AI-powered features like live translation, generative image editing, and transcript summaries. As for software, the iPhone runs iOS, which has seen some welcome changes this year, bringing it closer to the flexibility of Android. You can now place app icons anywhere on the home screen and even customize their colors. But if customization is what you're after, Samsung's One UI still reigns supreme with features like split-screen multitasking, themes, and more. Samsung has also stepped up its software update game, promising seven years of updates for the Galaxy S24 Ultra compared to Apple's five-year commitment for the iPhone. Camera capabilities. Apple has made some significant upgrades to the cameras on the iPhone 16 Pro Max, particularly the ultra-wide camera, which now features a 48 megapixel sensor. The main camera remains at 48 megapixel, and the 5X telephoto camera comes with a 12 megapixel sensor. A new lens coating helps reduce the lens flare issue that has been prevalent in recent iPhone models, especially during night shots. Samsung, as always, is pushing the envelope with its camera hardware. The Galaxy S24 Ultra boasts a hopping 200 megapixel main camera alongside a 12 megapixel ultra wide, a 10 megapixel 3x telephoto, and a 50 megapixel 5x zoom camera. While the megapixel count might seem impressive, the real magic happens in post processing. 
Both phones have excellent cameras, but Samsung has a slight edge in zoom performance, while the iPhone tends to oversharpen fine details like leaves or grass. In low light conditions, both phones perform admirably, but the iPhone's new lens coating helps reduce the flare and artifacts that can appear in night photos. Samsung, on the other hand, continues to struggle slightly with oversaturated greens in its images, but this is only noticeable when directly comparing photos side by side, battery and charging. When it comes to battery life, both phones pack a punch. The iPhone 16 Pro Max has a 4,685 mAh battery, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra comes with a slightly larger 5,000 mAh battery. However, Samsung takes the lead in charging speeds, offering 45 watt wired charging compared to the iPhone's 20 watt. For wireless charging, Apple's MagSafe offers 25 watt, while Samsung's wireless charging maxes out at 15 watt. Conclusion. So, which phone is the better choice? It's a tough call. The iPhone 16 Pro Max impresses with its sleek design, powerful A18 Pro chip, and improved cameras, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra excels with its S Pen, higher megapixel count, and faster charging speeds. Ultimately, it comes down to personal preference and whether you're more entrenched in Apple's ecosystem or Samsung's Android world. Either way, you're getting a top-tier smartphone that won't disappoint. What do you think about it? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Until then, take care, goodbye.